Hello, happy day 92. And today is one of my favorite days ever because it's so much flat. <laughs> um, we're just kind of walking through fields and pastures and um, it's the best. <laughs> um, today I am trying to break my record for longest mileage day and walk 30 miles. I, there's no real reason for it other than the fact that it's like, it was on my AT bucket list to walk a day of 30 miles or more. And after looking at the rest of the trail, this section right here was discovered to be the nicest for the longest period of time. So I thought today would be the perfect day to push my miles and try for the 30. So I got up this morning at five and it was pouring. So I didn't end up leaving until like 6.15. But regardless, I'm walking now through the pastures and it's about 14 miles of just flat, beautiful trail. And then it starts again with some big climbs, but I figured it was now or never. <laughs> And it's a little nerve wracking because I know I'm going to be in a lot of pain, but tonight I will hopefully be ending in Duncannon, which is exactly 30 miles from where I started. And my mom will be here. So I'll get to sleep in a bed and hopefully have dinner. I don't know how long it's going to take me or if it'll be like 9 p.m. by the time I finish and I won't be able to get dinner. I'm not sure, but I've done the first uh, third really quickly. I did the first 10 miles in like under four hours, I forget. Basically I was walking three miles an hour for the first little bit, actually over, a little bit over. So anyway, point is we're going for the record today. <laughs> I'm feeling really good so far, but I always feel good until around mile 16. That's usually my body's like, okay, we've had enough points. So that's only the halfway point of today, hopefully. Hopefully my body holds up for longer, but I'll update as the day goes on. It looks so beautiful out here right now. But we all know I'm a pasture girl, so. <laughs> the lake looks so beautiful. It's kind of eerie with the fog on it, but Boiling Springs is pretty. I guess this building used to be the AT regional office. I've heard it's closed down now, but it's pretty cool. Someone left some water out. So I'm gonna take some because the water carry is like 16 miles with no water because we're about to just be walking through farmlands. But very cool. Okay, I know I've said it before, but I'm really reflecting on it right now doing this road walk through Boiling Springs of how many different like sceneries and <laughs> um, portions of the AT that are just like so wildly different from the other uh, to get you to Maine <laughs> and how to connect it all. Like some days you just walk alongside a road to go to Maine and some days you're climbing the most annoying mountain or the most beautiful mountain or walking through a meadow. Um, yeah, I'm grateful for it all. It makes me very reflective um, just about like the history of the trail and the path that somebody made to get <laughs> all the way from Georgia to Maine. And I do like a good road walk. It's kind of scary, but it's cool that this is the official AT to me, at least. I know a lot of people don't like this. A lot of people come to the AT for complete solitude, but that's not one of the reasons why I did the AT, so I like it. So this bridge I've crossed underneath so many times on my way to Pittsburgh. And uh, I believe that this is the one that looks exactly like it. And I always look it up at it because it says Appalachian Trail on the side. I always thought I'm gonna do that one day and I'm gonna cross over that bridge. So, I don't know, it's very, it's just very surreal. Every day something happens and I think, no way that I'm actually hiking this trail. It's so cool. 
such a cool little market here. It's just right on the side of the trail with fresh fruits and veggies. Southern Pennsylvania is the best. Look at this fun bridge. How pretty. Look at this little tunnel. I am like two miles from, sorry, it's very bright, um, from a shelter where I'm gonna have a lunch. So that'll be 18 miles done with the day when I get to that shelter. Okay, I got the sun hoodie on because we are really out in the field, but I'm 20 miles in, which means I am two thirds done. And I don't feel terrible, but I've done between 20 and 24 miles um, a lot recently. So I think my body's used to that. And I also took a bunch of Advil, not a bunch, but just took two Advil at lunchtime. So it might be blocking the pain, but there's the update right now. Another field and a big climb ahead. Yeah. Hello. I am almost 26 miles into the day. Uh, the feet are hurting. Turns out I should have maybe looked at the terrain for the second half of the day because it's very rocky. Um, Roxylvania, I believe, probably has begun around here. I know it gets worse, so you really don't have to don't have to tell me because there's a lot of fear mongering going on with the rocks in Pennsylvania and I understand it's hard. I get it. I'm going to do it. So anyway, um, it's snack time. These, I'm trying this as a new granola bar. Kodiak makes granola bars and you already know you got to have the fruit snacks. So that's the update. Eating a snack, taking my second break of the day, almost 26 miles in. And I'm going to go, um, there's like a pizza shop on the trail and I'm only four miles away from it. So I'm going to go there, talk to you in the pizza shop. All right, the AT is going right by a Ford dealership. I don't know if I'd ever <laughs> would have thought that going off on this trip into the woods, I'd be walking on the trail next to a Ford dealership but you know everything has beauty I guess <laughs> this is the town of Duncan and, um, and the trail walks right through it and I should be at this pizza place that I've talked about maybe 10 times on this uh, recording now because I'm just so excited about it <laughs> I've been thinking about it all day uh, it's gotten me through the 30 miles so a nice sign. Kind of a cute little town. Now I just gotta find the pizza place. <laughs> Hello, happy day 93 and my three month anniversary. <laughs> Today is June 14th and I started on March 14th. So I have been out here for exactly three months, which uh, <laughs> I can't really even comprehend. I don't know if any of this will ever really hit me, but um, it's been three months. It's felt very fast. Also at times extremely, extremely slow to get to this point. Um, and I set a goal for myself to be over halfway on my three month anniversary, uh, just so that I can make sure I'd finish before October. And I did it. I could still finish in October, it's not a big deal. I just kind of wanted to finish before October 1st when I set out. So anyway, that's a very exciting milestone for me. And today I'm only doing eight miles because I did 30 yesterday and my parents are in town and my mom used to live in Harrisburg so we're gonna 
we were gonna go explore Harrisburg and eat there and stuff. So I'm doing a really short day, <laughs> but that's okay because I did a big day yesterday and I'll do more big days in the future. But it's my three month anniversary. I made it 1,158 miles in three months. So it's pretty cool. Um, I don't have much else to say other than my body actually doesn't really hurt that bad from the 30 yesterday. And uh, I've heard that this is where the rocks start in Pennsylvania. So it's gonna be a fun month four, I guess. <laughs> Cheers. I believe that's the Susquehanna River. Kind of ironic that the most beautiful views are a lot of times at these man-made uh, power lines because they cut everything down, but it's a good one in Pennsylvania. This is the trail. <laughs> no ground in sight. So, you can see here's a white blaze and an arrow telling you to go this way over train tracks where there is in fact a train not moving <laughs> just sitting here uh not really sure what to do about that <laughs> i don't know how long it's gonna sit here i know it's pretty dangerous to try to i could probably get through there somehow but that feels pretty dangerous, <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. Hmm. Okay, I just, those like stairs, I just walked up and went around the train and like climbed over it. <laughs> so I felt like a cool kind of stowaway, but made it across fine. And I'm pretty much done for the day, which is exciting. This is so pretty. I'm um, going over this bridge of the Susquehanna. It's a gorgeous day today. And I only hiked eight miles, <laughs> but I feel good about it because it's beautiful and I'm gonna hang out with my parents. She, she was at the point where I was like, yeah. this is the only advantage. Smice, Cece on a hike. <laughs> Sen Pen, we love her. <laughs> Hello from day 94. Look at this double decker shelter. It's so nice. This is the Peters Mountain Shelter. Um, I'm only three miles into my day. My friend Cece um, just hiked the first two miles with me, which was so nice. I stayed at her house last night because she lives in the Harrisburg area and she let me do my laundry. I got to sleep in a bed. It's just the amenities of life are so nice. <laughs> um, I was like, I'm never leaving your home. But anyway, um, she dropped me off at the trailhead this morning and then hiked two miles with me to a really nice view. And it was just a lovely morning. So thanks for coming out, see? Um, now, I don't know how far I'm hiking today. I'm really not in the mood to hike. All those like nice amenities from her house um, have put me in the mood to just be in society. <laughs> So I'm not in the best uh, hiking mood at the moment, but it's a super beautiful day. It's gonna be like 90 something degrees, so it's gonna get really hot. But anyway, the point is, I don't know where I'm going to today. The shelter I just left is really nice, but it was only three miles into my day. And the next shelter isn't for 18 miles. So I think I'll probably be camping tonight. Not sure where, but that's day 94's update. Feeling very grateful for my friends and my parents that have been able to come out uh, around this area because it's really helped with my morale and feeling a little lonely recently. Anyway, happy day 94. Hello, it is day 95 today and I'm not doing super great mentally. Yesterday was really, really hard for me mentally. Um, my brain just was not, not in the zone. Sometimes you're, you just miss the comforts of regular life. <laughs> Having a bed and a kitchen and a car and being surrounded with family and friends. And I think maybe I'm feeling this way because 
I'm in Pennsylvania and I'm not too far away from home and I've gotten a lot of visits from family and friends recently and it's making me just really miss that especially because I lost my friends out here so I've been feeling kind of lonely on the trail and seeing like all of these people I love in my life that are right there and I could be with if I wasn't out here. It's just been, it's been really hard to motivate myself. <laughs> and especially yesterday was kind of a hard day and the rocks are just starting in Pennsylvania. And so anyway, <laughs> I walked 13 miles yesterday and got a report that it was gonna rain all night last night and that there's gonna be pretty severe thunderstorms tonight. And the closest shelter from where I camped last night is either eight miles or 21 miles away. And I don't think I have 21 miles in me right now. I probably could, but I didn't leave this morning until like 9.45 a.m. because I was feeling really exhausted. So I'd be, this thunderstorm would start on me while walking to the shelter, the one 21 miles away. Um, and then there's a, I pass Interstate I-81, and so I could go into a town and call a shuttle, but the shuttles are like 20 bucks one way, and then a hotel room's nearly $90, and I'm by myself, so it'd be a lot of money, as I wouldn't be splitting it with anyone, so yeah, I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. I could camp in a storm, but I know that will bring my morale down even more than it already is. And so I might just walk eight miles, but, sorry, this is a very ranty video, but when I don't walk, like when I have a few days in a row where I'm not doing like actual big mileage, I start to feel really guilty. And I put myself in this like shame <coughs> spiral of you're not gonna make it. And right now you need to be doing big miles for the hard parts of New England. And I just like really guilt myself. So I, the last two days I did eight miles and then yesterday I did 13. So today I should be doing a big day and I've really been guilting, guilt tripping myself about stopping another, just doing eight miles today so I can avoid this big storm. So that's a little look <laughs> into my brain at the moment. Uh, I'm just not here mentally. And I think this has like been one of my biggest challenges in that you, you are the only thing stopping yourself from quitting. And I've never like ever really thought that that was a good option. And I still don't, and I still won't do that to myself. I don't, I owe it to myself to keep going, but it's hard with those thought spirals and the guilt cycle of, I need to be doing big miles and I'm not. But I also know that I'm ahead right now of schedule. And if I do another short day today, it's going to be okay. I'll still make it to Katahdin. So yeah, and maybe I'll find some of my friends. I lost a lot of the new group of people I was with because I wanted to do that 30 mile day. And so <laughs> I think if I stay at this shelter, that's where they're all going to come tonight. So maybe it's, it's all good in the end. <laughs> All right, I hope this isn't too depressing. Okay, we march on. <laughs> Found some old ruins. This guy, it's kind of scary because it's just a hole in the ground. You could just fully walk into it, but they put some logs up so you can't. It's uh, apparently I'm in a, the ruins of an old coal mining village. So that is very Pennsylvania of <laughs> this area of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Good morning, happy day 96 from the Roshkap shelter. It's a very nice shelter. It's got this like table and the water source is right there. Sorry, this is backwards. That silver thing. So it's very nice to stay here last night. It was only my eight miles <laughs> that I did again today. Well, I, I always have to make sure I don't, didn't leave anything. Anyway, so I just did three days in a row of really short days, but um, it was for the best because 
all of my friends that I've been hiking around recently, except minus a few, but um, some friends basically uh, came to the shelter last night. So I wasn't alone anymore, which really helped boost my morale um, to be around other people and friends again. And so even though I'm like in a little bit of a shame spiral over it, it's okay, I found my friends. And today I'm gonna walk 18 miles to the 501 shelter, which is supposed to be really nice. It has a shower <laughs> and you can get a pizza delivered there. And I don't know, everyone just talks about it being great. So I'm back on to regular miles and gonna be with friends. So that helps them out a lot. Also, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. But the challenge of today is that there is a mile long stretch just about to come up where um, there, there's a beaver dam. So it's flooded out and people are saying it's like knee deep through mucky beaver dam <laughs> for about a mile. And so I'm not looking super forward to that. I might put my Crocs on <laughs> and brave, <laughs> brave it with the Crocs. We'll see. Um, I'm pretty, it's like pretty close to the shelter. So I will record it. We will see how it goes. And yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better than I was yesterday. So that's all we can ask for. Okay, so we found another old village over here. And this is where you can get your alternative route. Uh, add two miles on or brave the water crossing beaver dam. So I'm going to go try to brave it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I've come upon the beaver dam and it's actually super pretty. It's reminding me of um, my times in a canoe. I've spent many hours lugging a canoe up and over <laughs> beaver dams. Um, and it's a beautiful summer day, so I'm really thinking about my canoeing past today. Anyway, here she is. Oh, a little bridge. Hmm. I think this is a mile long stretch, so I think it's just gets worse and worse as we go, but here's the start of it. Okay, I just walked across that part. That part is by far the hardest because <laughs> those little branches don't all stay above water when you step on them. But I made it across with just a tiny bit of my bottom shoe getting wet, so that's good. On to part two. Okay, I was mistaken. That video I just showed was actually the whole thing. <laughs> so way, uh, I think a little bit way overblown by, by everyone talking about it, but maybe I'm biased because I'm used to the beaver dams. Uh, and it wasn't too bad. It was, I got a little tiny piece of my foot wet, like my big toe is wet, but otherwise I didn't have to go knee deep in beaver dam. <laughs> and now I got kind of a big climb ahead of me. And yeah, beautiful day to be on a walk. Beautiful meadow here in Pennsylvania. You'll love to see it. And I'm walking very slow today, but I'll get the 18 done eventually. Look how cool this is. This is like one of the nicest bridges I've seen, foot bridges. I think I've said it before, but if I haven't, I will repeat it because I know I've said the meadow thing like 20 times, but bridges also really get me going. So I've recorded like every bridge I go over and this one's one of the best, I'll be honest. Um, I'm about to go under I-81 and up a big climb but I'm appreciative of this nice bridge for now. Well, <clears throat> dare I say, I've come to the point finally where the rocks have really begun. <laughs> um, I was told that after Duncan is when they start, but um, a second report said, no, today the walk I'm doing is where they start. And I think 
they were right. So, I'm ready for it. Everyone just has been talking and talking and talking about the rocks in Pennsylvania, but we've come to find out it's really just the last about 100 miles of Pennsylvania. So, anyway, I don't really know which way the trail goes. I think that way. <laughs> There's the best show magic. I am officially under 1,000 miles to Katahdin, which means we are in the triple digits countdown now. I am like 998 miles away, and that's crazy! Woohoo! Got a beautiful view of the Pennsylvania Valley. Okay, to the shelter where pizza can come to. Really, I think it just comes out to the road right there, but anyway, happy the day is done. Shelter has bunks. Look at this skylight. And you can charge your stuff at the caretaker's house there. Nicest shelter ever. Okay, so there's the shower for the 501 shelter, which is nuts that it has a shower and it has a lot of dry lines. There's the shelter itself. I highly recommend staying there if you can. The bunk beds felt like such luxury. <laughs> Hello, good morning from the rocks of Pennsylvania. I believe it's day 97 today. 98, 97, I'm not sure, but I'm in the thick of the rocks for sure at this point. Um, gone a pretty long stretch with them looking like this, and it's not super fun, but uh, I think I've done worse on the trail, so anyway, this is what it looks like. Today I was thinking about doing a pretty big day of 24 miles all the way to Port Clinton, but um, the, these rocks definitely make you walk slower, so I'm not sure if uh, the timing-wise I will be able to do 24 miles today, but hopefully we oh, got a little reprieve of regular trail, okay. <laughs> Even this is like, a lot of times there's some sharp, jaggedy rocks. Anyway, um, I was going to do that today, but we'll see what actually happens. There's a shelter 20 miles away, and there's a shelter 15 miles away, so I have some options. And yeah, my morale is doing a little bit better than it was a few days ago. I definitely just need friends <laughs> again out here. I am, I found a few now, but most of them are a little bit in front now because I had some friends visit and took some short days and some zeros. So anyway, that's the situation and I will march on. There are ferns as far as the eye can see. All that green out there is ferns. <laughs> I never never seen so many ferns in my life. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why this is funny to me, but... <laughs> oh, okay. You guys, I really need some company. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing at ferns at the moment. Anyway, very pretty. This is like the best AT sign I've seen. Also, it just came down that and it was so steep. Now, I gotta cross a railroad. I'm not really sure where the AT goes. It's a cool old building. It's always kind of scary crossing these railroads. Made it. So, I'm in a Port Clinton right now. Managed to walk the 24 miles into the town, and they, the town has a shelter, which is just down this road apparently, so 
I'm gonna go try to find it. I'm starving. <laughs> and there's this like giant spaghetti dinner at the fire station. And I couldn't tell if it was like a situation where I could just walk up and join it. Cause there's a lot of random people. So anyway, I'm gonna go to the shelter and then maybe turn around and go try to get a spaghetti dinner at the fire station. Here's what Port Clinton, Pennsylvania looks like. Port Clinton has the cutest little candy shop ever. Got the salad. <laughs> this is cookie bag. <laughs> <laughs> this was the Port Clinton shelter where I slept on top of a picnic table. <laughs> Accurate map today. And then I'm going underneath the highway. She's old. <laughs> 75 years old in 2012. It's 85 now, I guess. I am um, about to do the climb up to the pinnacle, which is supposed to be one of the best views on the AT. My mom said she read a list. So it was like in the top three or something after McAfee's knob. So should be a good view and I've got a perfect day for it. I'm excited. Just had my first really good fall of the trail. Um, I fully face planted right here. You can't really tell, but anyway. <laughs> I'm kind of glad no one was around to see it because I like fully, <laughs> it's kind of funny to think about, I like fully face planted and slid. Um, and it's not even that bad right here, but you know, <laughs> normalize falling on your face, okay? <laughs> Here's some evidence of the face plant. <laughs> this green is from, <laughs> on my shoulder, from the plants on the ground. <laughs> It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gotta throw a rock on the pinnacle rock pile. <laughs> Hundred grand wants that rock in the ground. He's <laughs> coming. Oh! We're adding this. Throw it on. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm okay, adding my okay. rock. Hello, hi, it's day 98, welcome to day 98. <laughs> Halfway through the day, most of my videos are already done, so maybe I'll just insert them. Today I'm doing 15 miles, I fell on my face, and I got to see the pinnacle, which is supposed to be the best view in Pennsylvania, and one of the best views on the AT. Amazing, loved it. Got some trail magic, and now I got five miles left. And <laughs> lots of rocks. That's about it. Hurting from the fall. Love the pinnacle. Lots of rocks. I'm going to the Eckville shelter tonight, which is supposed to have a shower and like be really nice. So that'll be great. Okay. Happy day 98.